So this is the new client's lawn. Um, it's just the front lawn. It's just fortnightly mowing. That's all it's going to be. Um, there's a few weeds, a bit of moss, but you know it is what it is. Um, and it basically just goes round to the uh, the driveway you can see over there. So yeah, it's uh, it's nine o'clock now. Um, bin's been emptied, and he's left it out for me, which is good. So yeah, let's uh, let's crack on and uh, see what it looks like once it's done. Okay, all done. Uh, I gave it double cuts. It's taken me probably half an hour. Um, with the strimmer, edge those off, but I will bring an edge of nine and do them properly next time. So, as I say, it's just a moss and weeds, um, a little bit shorter with some stripes put in. Okay, so this is a new client. This is the first like proper visit. Um, all I'm going to do is spray for the weeds and the moss. Uh, they haven't lived here that long, so um, that's why the lawn looks like it looks. And uh, they've called me to get it into shape. So what's great about a lawn like this is you, you don't have to do much to make it better. Okay, so having a bad morning with regards to being able to film because everyone wants to come out and talk to me. Um, and the traffic has been awful with roads closed and um, accidents, maybe where, maybe weather uh, affecting that, who knows. Uh, so basically I've, can't, I've had three jobs left for today. One was a commercial um, cutting job at my one of my new commercial places, which hopefully I'll be able to talk about in the future. Um, I've decided that's really wet. So I've decided to cancel that. The next batch of rain that's coming through looks like it's Thursday. So I'm going to leave that one till Wednesday to give it as long as possible to dry up. Um, but get the cut done before the rain. So that's the plan on that one. So I've got two more. One is a client that I took on at the start of last season. And um, so that will be a tidy up winter cut and get some iron down. Um, now it's a small lawn front and back but actually it's the it's the access to the back that's the issue so I'd always I've only ever taken actually the uh, the Ego 42 I think it is um, but if I didn't have that then I'd take the Hater 41 that I still have uh, Hater Pro 41. Here is the Ego I tried to use this last week and it seemed to have a few issues and a few gremlins. So I've been using this Ego mower now for probably um, a season and a half I'd imagine um and it's been all right as a i've made a review video on it i don't think my opinion on it has changed that much um only i went to start it this i've got two issues actually first one is i don't know if it's this battery one of the batteries now bearing in mind i very rarely use this i got it i suppose halfway through the first season and i started using it and it it did one fortnightly lawn, and that was it. Um, and that lawn was about 200 square meters, say. And then last season, it did the lawn we're about to do, which was the front and back, but very small, uh, probably not even 100 square meters. And then one really, really small lawn, uh, which was my smallest. I've actually recently just got rid of it, actually, being one of the, the Hazelmere ones. Um, so it's really not that, done that many hours, um, and neither has these the original batteries. Uh, and one of them, it now won't fully charge. Uh, this is a 2.5, so I've used this, you know, not a great deal. Uh, a bit with a hedge cutter, haven't used it a hedge cutter for that many hours, and not many hours on here. And so, is that a normal thing? Because uh, battery's quite new to me, to be honest. Um, do, do, do old batteries go like that? Bearing in mind this is like a year and a half and hasn't had much use. Uh, also, let's plug that in properly. Okay. okay, so that 
worked perfectly, but when I tried to use it the last time, it I ended up like having to drop it and slam it on the floor to to get it to kick into life. You could get it to go forwards, but you just couldn't get the blades to engage and go around. Um, and also the headlights kept coming on and staying on, and I could only disconnect them by taking the battery out each time. So, um, again, I guess this is stuff you don't know about until, until you know about it, but it uh, hasn't done that many hours, so it's a slippery slope, isn't it, if, if it's doing it already. Anyways, they were a few issues, but it seems to be working fine, so I'm going to take it with me. Let's, uh, let's hope for the best. And then the next job, once that's done, is it's a, it's a bit of a random one, uh, but a client that I've had for nine years uh, is moving, uh, which is quite annoying because last season I'd sort of cracked life uh, in the sense that a Friday was theirs, their next door neighbours, and one a couple doors down, and that would be my that would be a full day's work, um, and the back gardens would all be ride on mowers, front gardens, striping up with a hater, and uh, yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, anyway, they're moving. For, annoyingly, they're moving slightly further away than where they live, but only slightly, so they're not sort of moving out of my service area as such. Um, there's every chance that the new person who comes in, I'll carry on the maintenance uh, as I have done. They've already asked for my contact details, um, so we shall, shall wait. we'll wait to see on that one. Um, and if they were to sign up then I would just sort of keep them in the slot that this current client is on and then the gap that I've created by getting rid of some of the Hazelmere jobs um, this client would then sort of go fall into theirs because um, one I've kept on at, which is on a Thursday is kind of near where they're moving to so it would be um, advantageous to do those two sort of together um, so it should all work out quite well hopefully um, but the the reason for going there today is because they've got some really large pots that they're taking with them and they just they, there's some soil in there and stuff so they just want the soil taken out flowers take or whatever I don't even know what's in there to be honest shrubs just they just want it dug out um, so that it's lighter for the removal company when they start moving them out tomorrow um, the other problem is their mower uh, which they're taking with them um, is and I've, I've spoken about this before it's basically it's in their back garden and then they had this new pond put in so it became landlocked um, you can get it out but I am going to be having to take a load of uh, scaffold boards and stuff like that you can get it out but it's uh, it's not uh, something you just do you can do ad hoc as such you need to go prepared so while I'm there I'm going to get the uh, get the tractor out for them um, it'll probably go into their garage so uh, then either I or the removal company will move it um, once they've got the keys to get into their new place um, but we need to get it out now um, and I'm not necessarily gonna have any time at the end of the week when they do want it moved so I'm gonna do it now it's a bit of fun I suppose so last time I was here would have been in December just before Christmas the uh, the driveway is um it's, not, it's a bit like gravel it's supposed to be tarmac um it was very very mossy so the last time i came i did a moss treatment i was putting some pictures now as to what it did look like and um i can't see it actually at the moment but uh we shall go and investigate as a uh, as to see what it looks like now um i'd imagine there'll be some moss left over that might need to be brushed off um but hopefully it won't be green now it certainly will be a uh, brown and dead looking if there is any left you may also remember from an instagram post that i did about having to cut this back uh, so that the the access people can get to the light which weirdly is on all those daylight um so that's coming back quite nicely now um but yeah no this is the lawn a few leaves on there yeah moss but pretty pleased with that I think okay and this is the back so that tree has been done which has made a massive difference in here so 
I mean, that bit was always going to struggle under that tree. But that is much, much better. And also, you can see what I mean about it being tight, trying to get through here, of anything bigger than a small mower. Okay, so you've probably seen this property before. Uh, I've already emptied that pot there. They're staying, because all these things need to be moved. In the move, so then you've got the three pots over there. Um, they're pots within pots. So, uh, they're coming out. And then, um, Yeah, so they're basically, they're, they're pots within pots, so I've already took that one out, uh, take these out. Uh, these big ones have got soil round, like the, the there's a pot within a pot with some soil round, and this kind of, I don't know what you call that, I'm sure the gardeners amongst you will know. Um, so that'll be full of that, which I'm keeping in. And then task two after this is to get the mower out of the shed and then uh, get it across here and up those steps. There's one step there. So, uh, should be interesting. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the, the plants out, as you can see there. Now, I was led to believe there was nothing in these pots. There was just stones or something, which they kept in. They just wanted the soil at the top and around the sides taken out. Um, well, it is completely full of soil, so that's what I've got to come out. But what was quite interesting um, is as I was walking around, when I first started here, this was just one big rectangle bit of grass. Um, and that was it. If, uh, maybe the laurel hedge at the back, maybe. Um, everything else uh, was put in. Uh, actually, no, tell a lie. Obviously, the oak trees were still here. Escaped, so this was a new build. So then after a year, they had the whole garden landscaped. Uh, all the willows, um, the willows at the edges and the silver birch in the middle, they were all transplanted and put in. Uh, the two liquid, well there's three liquid ampers but one's died. They were, they were added as were all the yew hedges and yew bulls. Okay, so I didn't film getting it out, um, the client was actually getting involved. I won't use the word helping. But getting involved. <laughs> okay, so that's it. All done at this property. Now, uh, a couple of the things that I've been, I need to think about is if the new client comes in on Friday and says, yes, please continue with the services. Um, obviously, I've kept that day open, but normally, certainly in the back, I would have done two to three days of hedging, uh, which I haven't done, which needs to be done. Um, this driveway is in a terrible state. It needs a proper clean up. Um, so all these weeds and moss and everything needs to be dealt with. And that's stuff that the client, this client said, look, don't worry about, because you know, it's not their concern anymore. So they, you know, uh, they're, they're just not bothered by it. But uh, the new client potentially will be bothered by it. So with regards to scheduling i've sort of tried to keep some space open in case that happens because all of a sudden i might have a whole week's worth of work at this garden trying to get it into uh into some kind of order ready for the start of the season so uh and then obviously you know going with these to their new property there's a good chance that the the people who are in their house at the moment has all have also kind of relaxed their their um relax their maintenance as well so there might be catch up needing to be played on that house as well or that property so yeah potentially really really busy times um uh, but equally she may not want me and she's already got another gardeners and uh, then all of a sudden i've got to fill that space <laughs> but as I, I think i said also in this video earlier we haven't had that see you know we haven't had that kind of really warm weekend where everybody gets out and goes wow i really should uh get the garden looked at um so so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video bit of rambling um and uh not much to show but obviously as the season gets going then we can actually show more work etc etc but uh yeah hope you enjoyed it um and i'll see you in the next one